Hey guys, uh, didn't get the video with the winch and with the one y'all about to watch, so I decided just to make this one. Anyways, hope you enjoy. New people, please subscribe and comment and everything. So, yeah, thanks. Hey guys, uh, we're going to put a winch on the four wheeler. This is the front of it. I already put most of it together since there's no instructions I didn't want to look like a complete idiot well I got this mounted on tight and I still put it upside down uh, mounted this this is how I wanted it and for some reason that is not tight so give me one second we'll remedy that real quick Okay, anyways, uh, I think I know how I'm going to put it. There is one small-ish detail, which is I can only put one bolt in it uh, for two of them. I would have to figure a spot to drill a hole on however big them things are. I got the bag of bolts here. Uh, it wants me to put four of them in. I may just put it on here just so when I go camping, just in case. Um, you know, just get out of a jam. And then when I get back, I'll probably figure a way to mount it on the um, trailer. That way, it'd be a lot better. Now, running the cords for it, that's going to be harder because I only use a vehicle battery on the back of this because I don't have a stator to go in it and right now I just don't have the money for the stator but I think I got to figure a way figured a way to have one mounted one bolt that'll hold it in <clears throat> I might be able to figure a like a u-bolt maybe a u-bolt kind of put it up in there and then have a u-bolt and then it just you anyways so i'll show you real quick Well, I guess I might want to on you. See? And right down here is about the only place to put a bolt unless I slide it to the other side. If I slide it over here, there's another bolt hole. I don't know if I can get my hand there, but right here there's another bolt hole. And I don't know if I can get to it either. Well, I can... I can do either one. Actually, it'd probably be better to have this side. It'd probably be better to have the this side over here. Uh, that way, because that's the side the um, cables on, where to be doing a lot of pulling, be on this side. So that's probably the side I want it on. <clears throat> Let's grab a bolt. Now I'm going to see if I can't turn you guys around. That way y'all can see. Really. You can see my dog over there. Yeah, going right here. Wow. 
Well, it goes down in there. I'll just have to hook it all up, make sure it'll work right. Um, try to stay out of y'all's way but also let you well I gotta be able to see too There we go. Ha ha. Got it one handed. Now, where'd my wrench go? Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, the impact will get in there. Yeah. Can y'all still see? wiggling oh this thing here on the winch can y'all even see that yeah you can barely see it this thing here on the winch I don't know if y'all watched my last YouTube video uh, of me uh, unpackaging this but you pull this out and then the thing free spins I got the end of it. That's not what was supposed to happen. Okay. Hang on, let me get a battery. I switched the sides. This is the side with the uh, hookups. And it looks like I've lost a tightener over here. Because this side, it's got one and... I can't use none of these because it's too big. Oh, there's one thing. Two. So we're getting close to finding it. Not the two uh, washers. Huh. I'm gonna pause you guys for a second. I found it. It was under the tire. Now we got everything to get her hooked it up. Alright, and did look at the instructions. The blue one is ground. Yellow one is hot. And then, well, your normal hot and ground. I didn't think this through. I was just going to unspool this and then roll it back in, but I didn't think that through. Anyways, we need this. Did I bring a pocket knife? Nope. Okay. So, let's try to do it the other way. I just got to loosen it up so we can get it off. It's a zip tie. And I really didn't think it through.
Here. Got him. I just yanked him. Yanked it. Okay, the top one here, this one up here is negative. This one over here is positive. Yep. Okay, so I need washer. Washer goes on. Then the cable. The other washer. And then the nut. Sorry if you can't see. I'm still not good at doing this stuff. Let me see. She dirty. All because of me. I was totally me. Now, the top one. Now, of course, I will redo all of this once I get all the cable back in and I find the way to run the wire for the thing. And since it's for this kind of uh, uh, ATV, UTV, um, stuff like that, so I'm guessing this is waterproof. I'm gonna assume. And you know what assuming does? All right. I just did the same thing with the ground and the hot. Um, and I will pause and be right back and I do not recommend what I'm about to do I'm just going to use vice grips and an old junky pair of pliers so I can connect them because I just don't want to go all the way in the house and get another vice grip these stay on the four wheeler that's why they sound all gross if you can hear that and it's just got to hold it temporarily all right, whatever. All right. okay John key pliers really really hard to open okay ha It doesn't move that fast. Sorry, I had to redo it. 
Yeah. But it's working now. Well, it does not move that fast. Fingers getting tired. Sorry guys, I just paused it and got it reeled in. I had to go back in. Let's see if I can't wiggly you up in there. Uh, I had to make it all purdy looking. Now the string is hanging out. And this can actually get cut off now. I always left this hooked on here. You know, in case I got stuck. I, got, I always have ratchets on me. So I figured this would be better than nothing. Is what it was is one time I was doing something and uh, ripped it. And I was like, okay. So I just left it on there. So uh, let me know what y'all think. I'm going to hurry and get the hell out of here, go in the house. The um, skeeters are biting the shit out of me. Right after I make a TikTok. Anywho's, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, stay weird.